Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today I will be rock pooling in Cornwall for the first time. I end up finding a load of new species I've never found before including one particular species that is quite rare in this area. But before we get into the video I want to say thank you for 900 subscribers. I can't believe how quickly the channel is growing and the fact that a thousand subscribers is on the horizon is just insane. Thank you all for the constant support as always and if you haven't yet subscribed and enjoy the videos please do hit that big red button down below to keep up to date with all of my new videos in the future. But for now let me show you what I found in these amazing rock pools. So today you find me at Hannafor Beach in Loo and this beach is one of the best rock pooling sites in Cornwall. There is a vast expanse of easily accessible tidal pools which contain some awesome sea creatures and interestingly some that can't be found in Devon or other parts of the UK. The first find was a species I'm all too familiar with, a beautiful snake locks anemone attached to a frond of seaweed. This snake locks anemone has a less vibrant coloration than the previous two, but it was still great to see. Here you can see me filming a small common hermit crab, as well as another small snake locks anemone. This species of hermit crab wasn't the one I was looking for during this trip, but as you'll see later in the video, I find a much rarer species of hermit crab, so stay tuned. Hannafor Beach also had a few different species of seaweed that aren't present on my local beaches, such as bladderwrack, named after its distinctive air bladders. Another different species of seaweed I found was egg rack, a much larger species of seaweed. After a few more minutes of searching in nearby pools, I managed to find some cushioned stars. And shortly after that, I found a common brittle star, which I don't find that often, so it was another great find. Here's another species I don't find that often, a lesser furrowed crab, which can be identified by the small hairs present on its legs, which the regular furrowed crabs don't have.
And speaking of regular furrowed crabs, I managed to find a fairly large one shortly after. Here you may be able to spot a master of disguise. This is a long spined sea scorpion and is one of my favourite fish to find while rock pooling. This fish is able to change its coloration at will to blend perfectly into its environment. This small fish is one I've never found before. I believe this is a painted goby but I'm not 100% sure but it was still awesome to see nonetheless. There were also other small fish species in the pools, although I have no idea what these are. Here you can see me trying to film a small group of fish in this big rock pool. This is one of the first painted top shells I've seen alive, so it was great to be able to film one. There were huge congregations of what I presume are periwinkles on different areas of the beach, which was really interesting to see. This is the first time I've seen a spider crab shell with this incredible blue coloration, another really interesting find, although I'd still love to find a live spider crab soon. It was at this point that I found a huge fish in this pool. It was hiding in the seaweed here, but eventually I managed to figure out what kind of fish it was. It turned out to be a massive shore rockling, identified by the three large beards around its mouth. I managed to catch it and place it into a smaller rock pool so I could get some footage of it without it swimming off. 
This is a species that I rarely find, so I wanted to make sure I got a good amount of footage. Once I had enough footage of the rockling, I placed it back into the same rock pool that I originally found it in, and shortly after, it disappeared back into the seaweed. Another fish species I managed to find was a worm pipefish, and this little guy was really calm and wasn't scared by the camera at all. And in this shell is the rare species I mentioned earlier in the video. This is known as a St Piran's Hermit Crab, and this stunning little hermit crab has only returned to our southern shores in recent years. This species of hermit crab actually disappeared from our shores in the late 1980s, but had reappeared at various sites across Cornwall in recent years. Like the common hermit crab, this species will often use a variety of empty sea snail shells to make their home, including flat periwinkle and dog whelk shells. They are much more timid than the common hermit crab and will often hide inside their shell until all danger has disappeared. In 2016, BBC Springwatch ran a competition to give this species a common name, with the chosen winning name being St Piran. If you've made it this far into the video, I do hope you've enjoyed watching all of the amazing sea creatures I found at this amazing beach. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my new videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.